What's the cutest robot? Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's do it. is called a lion. Lions are big cats. Very big. And here's another big cat. But this big cat is called a lioness. It's a girl lion. They look alike, but there are a few things that make them different. Look at the lion's fur. The lion has beautiful fur around his head called a mane. The lioness doesn't have this mane. And the lion is also bigger than the lioness. These little lions look like kittens, but they're called cubs. And they live with their mothers. The lionesses take care of their cubs all day long. I think this cub is looking for his mama. Can you help him, Roby? We found the mama. What a happy family. Just like kittens, cubs love playing together and sometimes getting into trouble. Look out, Roby. That was close. Can you guess what the lions are doing, Roby? They're licking themselves. But do you know why? It's their bath time. Lions don't use water to bathe. Instead, they lick themselves to keep clean, just like big cats. <laughs> Lions help each other keep clean, too. In the Lion Kingdom, they help each other stay clean. See? But you know what lions like to do best? They love relaxing in the sun. It looks like that lioness is getting tired. Be careful, Roby. You don't want to get near those teeth. Her teeth are big and sharp to help her eat. But don't worry, she doesn't eat Roby's. <laughs> Look at these flies, Roby. They're annoying, but they don't keep the lions from getting their sleep. Lions always find a way to rest because they need about 20 hours of sleep every day. Ooh. Lions love sleeping so much that they'll even climb a tree to find some quiet time. <sighs> it looks like our day with lions made you tired too, Roby. I think we should act like lions and find some quiet time too. Bye bye lions, get some rest. <laughs> Are you making some new friends, Roby? <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal your new friends are? These are the penguins. You're not gonna believe this, but penguins are birds. Penguins have wings, but they can't fly like other birds. Their wings are too small and their bodies are too heavy. But they do have feathers and beaks like birds. Yes, just like that. <laughs> Funny, isn't it, Roby? Their walk looks a little silly. But when it comes to swimming, penguins are experts. <laughs> penguins live near the ocean because they love swimming and catching fish. <laughs> You're right. 
right, Roby. It's cold. So how do penguins stay warm when it's so cold? I'll show you. Penguins have special waterproof feathers and a layer of fat to protect them from the cold. And since you're not a penguin, a hat can warm you up just great, Roby. Look how many penguins, Roby. Penguins live together in big groups, but every penguin also has its own small family, just like us. This is how penguin families start, Roby. Mama penguin lays an egg, and the penguin parents keep the egg safe and warm until the little chick is ready to hatch. Wow, these little penguins have big appetites. But he isn't old enough to eat on his own yet. So the mama penguin has to feed the baby food from her beak. Look at these hungry guys. They're chasing their mama to get more food. These baby penguins are brown. But when they get older, they grow all new black feathers, just like their parents. Do you think all these penguins look alike, Roby? They do to us, but penguin parents can tell their babies apart from all the other chicks. I don't think you can trick these penguins. You still look like Roby to me. Have you had a nice day with your new penguin friends, Roby? Me too, but I think it's time for us to go. We can come back tomorrow and have a nice swim with our new penguin pals. See you later, Roby. Don't be scared, Roby. That's not a dragon. Nope. This little friend is a chameleon. Chameleons are reptiles and can change their colors to blend in with their surroundings. This makes them the best hide-and-seek players in the whole world. Look! This chameleon turned green because it's walking through green grass. <laughs> Very funny, Roby. And this chameleon is brown because it's walking on a brown branch. <laughs> Do you see any chameleons here, Roby? Look closely. Yes, you found it. Roby, where'd you go? You tricked us, Roby, just like a chameleon. This chameleon blends in so well that it even moves like a branch. Watch him sway. Do you know how chameleons are born? They hatch from eggs that their mamas lay in the sand. Soon after they hatch, these little ones are ready to have some fun. Chameleons aren't just awesome hiders, they're incredible climbers too. They have long fingers that help them grab the branches. <laughs> That's funny, Roby. <laughs> Other than their fingers, chameleons also use their long tails to help climb and balance. And they even use their tails to hang upside down. Check out this cool trick the chameleon does with its tail. I think you just might be a chameleon, Roby. One of the coolest things about chameleons is their eyes. They're located on the sides of their heads so they can see everything, even things behind them. Yes, Roby, the chameleon can see you. Did you see that? That's how a chameleon eats. It just opens its mouth, rolls out its long, long tongue, and catches insects. Wow. 
I didn't know you liked eating bugs, Roby. <laughs> we had a great day with our chameleon friends, Roby, but I think it's time for them to rest. Say bye-bye to the chameleons, Roby. <laughs> They're huge, aren't they? These gigantic creatures are called hippos. Hippos are lovable animals who live near rivers or lakes with all their friends and family. Hippos love swimming together. They're just relaxing on the riverbank. Time for you to join them, Roby. Look, Roby, there's Mommy Hippo with her baby. Baby hippos are called calves. They stay with their mommies until they're big and strong. Mommy Hippo loves to sleep. Don't interrupt her, Roby. Hippos spend most of their time in the water. The cool water helps protect them from the hot sun. And unlike us, Roby, hippos can stay in the water for so long because their eyes, ears, and nostrils are on top of their heads. Look! This way, the hippo can still see and breathe while the rest of his body stays cool under the water. Hippos love staying cool so much that they even eat their meals in the water. Those are called water plants, and hippos can't get enough of them. Another reason why hippos love water is because they can flow from place to place like this. Look, they're like ballerinas, big ballerinas. <laughs> Funny, Roby, you're not a ballerina, but you sure can run with the hippo. When all that swimming and running catches up with them, hippos love to take a nice long rest and get a good night's sleep. That's one tired hippo. <laughs> Sometimes hippos get so tired, they even fall asleep in the water. Shh, Roby, don't want to wake up Mr. Hippo. Are you looking for a place to sit, Roby? I think these birds took all the seats. Check out the chompers on this hippo, Roby. They have big mouths and big teeth. Don't worry, Roby. They use their big teeth to play with each other. I bet you never played tag like that before. The hippos have had a long day of swimming, running, eating, and playing. I think it's time for them to go to sleep. And from the sound of your yawn, I think it's bedtime for you, too. Say goodnight to the hippos. Good night, Roby. Good night, hippos. the cutest robot. Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Let's I see you've met a kitty cat, Roby. A cat's favorite thing to do is play, just like you, Roby. We don't have time to play now. There are so many cats for us to meet. Yes, there are lots of different kinds of cats all over the world. Some cats live in the wild. 
<laughs> they live in fields like this. And some cats even live in the desert. <laughs> Don't be scared, Roby. <laughs> this cat is a cheetah. And it's really, really big. Cheetahs have lots of spots and can run really fast. <laughs> go, Roby, go! Looks like all this running has made you sleepy, Roby. Cats love to sleep too. They can nap for over 15 hours a day. Wake up, Roby. There's so much more to see. Here's a happy kitty family. This mama is feeding her kittens breakfast. When a kitten grows up, it uses its tongue to lick yummy milk. Bon appetit, Roby. And this is how cats get clean. They use their long tongues to clean themselves and keep their fur fluffy and shiny. They have to keep their fur healthy and clean because it protects them and keeps them warm. That's right, Roby. Just like how we wear hats. Did you hear that, Roby? That's a cat meow. Cats talk to each other with meows all the time. Wow, that's a great meow, Roby. Are you sure you're not part cat? <laughs> hey, look at this kitty. It just opened the door. Cats are great at jumping and climbing. They can climb up to really high places. And they use their long tails to help them balance so they don't fall over. You know, Roby, I think you look good with a tail. A cat's tail can also tell us if it's happy or sad. And here's a happy kitty. And a happy Roby. Hey, it's nighttime, but cats don't mind. They have good eyesight that helps them see in the dark. Which is very useful because some cats only go out at night. But not us, Roby. When it gets dark out, we need to go to bed. So let's go to bed and say bye. Good night, Roby. What you doing? This is an elephant, one of the biggest animals in the world. Hey, Robbie, how many legs do elephants have? Let's count together. One, two, three, and four. They use their legs for walking and standing. Dancing? I don't think elephants dance, Robbie. That's the elephant's head, Robbie. Elephants have a big head with two eyes, a mouth, and a nose. Where's the elephant's nose, you're asking? Well, it's that very, very, very long thing moving from side to side. It's called a trunk. Look out, Robbie! Elephants use their trunks for everything. Yup. Almost everything we do with our hands, an elephant can do with its trunk. Elephants use their trunks to eat. See how he picks up the grass and puts it in his mouth? I don't think you want to eat that, Robbie. <laughs> Elephants also use their trunks to drink water. Are you thirsty too, Robbie? Why don't you have a drink? Oh, looks like you need to clean off.
elephants also use their trunks to bathe. <laughs> elephants also keep cool by waving their big, big, big ears back and forth like a huge fan. Hey, baby elephant, would you like to play with Robbie? Aw, he has to go home with his mommy. Baby elephants live with their mommies in big groups until they're old enough to live alone. It's getting late and the elephants have to get their sleep. I think it's time for us to go home and get some sleep too, Robbie. Good night, elephants. Good night, Ravi. <laughs> are? Let me give you a clue. It's milk. And do you know where the milk comes from? A cow. You're right. And these are the cows. Do you know what that sound is, Roby? That's the sound a cow makes. Moo. That's how cows talk to each other. Cows are big, aren't they, Roby? And all cows eat is grass and hay. Yup. Just grass and hay. But they eat a lot of grass and hay. Want to see where cows like to hang out? So let's get a move on. In the open fields, eating yummy grass. That's where cows hang out with their friends. Are you hungry too, Roby? Grass is for cows, Roby, not us. What are you doing, Roby? That's funny. <laughs> You're changing into the different colors of the cows. Some cows are white, some are brown, and some are black and white. Aw, that's so cute. This is a little baby cow. Baby cows are called calves. When calves are really little, their mommies feed them lots of milk. Are you thirsty for some milk now? That was quick. You drink it all up. Those are horns, Roby. Some cows have short horns. Yes, just like that. But some cows have very, very big horns. Yes, just like that. Whoa, slow down, Roby. These cows are trying to get some rest. And it looks like you need some rest too, Roby. Bye, cows. Bye, Roby. Look, someone just climbed the tree. Do you know who it was? That's a monkey, Roby. Look at him climb. You can fly, Roby. You don't need to climb like the monkeys. Monkeys come in all different colors and sizes. Some monkeys are brown. Some are black and white. And some have red heads. Look at this one. 
Monkeys look a lot like us. They have eyes, a mouth, and a cute little nose. They can hold their food just like us and even stand up. <laughs> I don't think you want to eat that, Roby. Monkeys love fruit, too. Monkeys also love to eat leaves and pods that fell off the trees. And monkeys have something we don't. That's right, a tail. The tail helps them balance themselves and climb trees. <laughs> you should practice, Roby. They're really experts when it comes to climbing. Even baby monkeys can climb really well. Look, Roby. These little guys sure love to play, just like in kindergarten. You want to play too, Roby? Maybe another time. Just like us, the monkeys love to be with their families. Together they play, relax, eat, and have lots of fun. Look at this baby monkey. He's so small. He just loves being close to his mommy where he feels safe. Looks like fun, right? See the hair this monkey has on his body? It's fur. All monkeys have it. It keeps them warm and protects them. Just like clothes. And what about cleaning? They clean each other and take out all the dirt from the fur like this. Monkeys love to have company. That's why they all eat at the same time. You better hurry, Roby, if you want to catch up with the monkeys. Bye-bye, Roby. See you soon. the cutest robot. Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's You want to play too, Roby? Good, because these are funny, furry little friends who love to play. They're called foxes. Quiz time, Roby. Can you tell me what other animal foxes look like? That's right, Roby. Foxes look like dogs because dogs and foxes are from the same family. Yes, Roby. Just like cousins. Foxes love family. They live together with their family so they can take care of each other. Just like us, foxes have mommies who take care of their babies. And when baby foxes make a mess, mommy fox has to keep them clean. <laughs> Bon Appetit, Foxy! <laughs> See this fox's nose, Roby? It's long and pointy to help the fox sniff out food. I see you're hungry too, Roby. But I don't think you want to eat what the fox is eating, Roby. Foxes have big ears. Those big ears help them hear tiny noises from far, far away. Do you hear something from far away, Roby? 
Then let's check it out. Good ears, Roby. You heard the foxes digging in the ground. And hey, look at this fox jumping. Where did he go? He went home to his burrow. Sometimes their burrows are up high above ground. <laughs> Burrows are just like houses. It's where the foxes keep their food, sleep, and hang out with their families. Good thing you brought a flashlight, Roby. Foxes love nighttime. It's when they go out and play and eat from their mommies. Yes, and they rest mostly during the day. Let me show you. Be very quiet, Roby. After a long night of playing with their families and looking for food, these foxes are taking a nice nap. Shh, Roby. He's sleeping. You want to play with the foxes some more, Roby? Come with me. Here you go, Roby. Some fluffy foxy friends ready to play with you. Have fun playing, Roby. See you next time.